How long have you been in Russia? Close to a year now. Close to a year. Yeah. All right. And uh, what do you like most about life here? About life here, yeah. experiencing all the four seasons in one environment, I mm -hmm. think for me is the, the most exciting part of being here. That's Since amazing. I come from a tropical environment, you know, like <laughs> could be hot, extremely, extremely hot here and extremely cold here. I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's an adventurous thing to experience. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Yeah. What I like most from Russia is that. The city is really calm, it's really secure. You can walk in the night without worrying that someone will come to you, steal from you, or uh -huh. something will happen. I think that's what I like the most from Russia. Life in Russia is, it's interesting, it's very versatile. It's not, it's not the norm, like the norm for me as an African, <laughs> it's not that. Uh -huh. It's, it's more, it's more Western. <laughs> It's nice. more, more Western. Yeah. Like the people here are kind of friendly and they love you being in their country and stuff. So um, that's what I like. And another thing I like the um, like the nature here. It's very beautiful. The weather. I like such weather, winter and stuff. The quietness here. I think mean, we're at the park and it's so quiet. I also love how people here like mind their own business mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. yeah. The weather, not every time though, because even you know when it snows, after when the the ice starts melting and and whatnot, it's everywhere becomes dirty. But before then, I just like the the cold weather and the changes. You know the season changing and oh. yeah, the weather, the you know winter does good to my skin. About Russian people, they are good hosts, and um, if. You know, you, you get to know some of them, it gets to the point where they invite you over, you know, and everything. They, they will take mm. good care of it. It's like, <laughs> I just love clicking photos in Russia uh. because in um, autumn and in summer, the pictures are just incredible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's about the photos, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, healthcare system is by far the best I have seen. Maybe I'm here to check that of Norway, but mm -hmm. it's, it's the best so far. And mm -hmm. I like the solidarity. You touch one, you touch them all. It's more safer here than in my country. Like here you can take a walk like in the, at night, like around, around 12, 11. Mm -hmm. Other things are cheaper than at home, like transport here, it's mm -hmm. cheaper than at home. And yeah, and also apartments, you can get uh, a nice finished apartment at a reasonable price than at home. Like most apartments which have like furniture inside, they are usually expensive. It's organized, as you can see the park, the bus system, everything is organized, the shopping places. So I love that. Uh, so from uh, your experience, what are the cultural differences between your country and Russia? That's a big difference because I came from a Latin country. We are really warm people. <laughs> we are really social. So um, when we talk with people, we love the contact, joke, hugs. And the Russians are more distant. Uh -huh. They are kind of cold. It's not because they are angry or something. They just, if they don't know you, uh -huh. they won't be like that open with you. So you have to get to know them better and they will start treating you really, really nice, but with the time. Uh, and I think the most significant one is, um, you know, uh, emotional expressions when it comes to how we do it back home and how the Russians do it. Uh -huh. They're very straightforward and they don't beat around the bush and, uh, Back home, it's quite the opposite. <laughs> and uh, at first, it comes out as cold and rude, but with time, you come to realize actually that's just how they are. And once you break that ice and dive into their culture and you know their social life and everything, you come to realize they're some of the friendliest and nicest people you could ever meet. I feel like Russians use everything that they have to their disposal. For example, when it comes to winter, they do ice baths ice baths mm. which is really nice it's interesting i've tried it it is it is mixed of emotions because you get the coldness and like the cold literally it feels like tiny needles spiking your body 
<laughs> but it's very nice. And cultural differences. In my country, we have Greek dances. We have, because I'm from my kingdom, um, we have like more culturally connecting things. And here, they really don't have like things like that that bring them together. I think. They do have some holidays where, for example, the pancake holiday, where they do give people pancakes and all that. But it's, I feel like it's more different because it's not like everyone comes together to do that. People do it out of their own free will. And yet in my country, it feels like it's tradition, like it's in your veins for you to actually try and experience cultural meat dance and all that which is nice yeah i think there's a very big difference between us and russians all the food food here is like way different like uh, some stuff for me is like overrated something like borscht a lot of uh, russians are saying like oh you have to try it you have to try it when i tried it i didn't like it that much <laughs> <laughs> taste is strange for me and the same like uh, if they tried our food i think they're gonna say oh it's very spicy it's like uh -huh. mm, strange <laughs> stuff like this and how people communicate with each with each other the most strange thing like in my country uh you can make friends easily you can stop anyone in the street and ask them about something they will be friendly they will talk but here i think people are more closed they don't want to like communicate if they don't if they don't know you russians are not that social like they're not so much social they don't socialize mm -hmm. as in our country like from our country like you have to know everyone around you but russia you just mind your own business mm -hmm. and yeah and also language obviously mm -hmm. yeah okay language so do you speak russian now no <laughs> no <laughs> so if you don't speak russian how do you manage to live how are you coping uh, i'm coping but also google translator is there for us so. <laughs> <laughs> it helps yeah, it helps, yeah. <laughs> okay i think the first thing which i noticed the first year it was rather in summer but it's something that is i think it's not just russia but europe though the dressing right the ladies and you know yeah i, I well <laughs> okay so the second thing i noticed that they, they, they get they get married quite young like as early as 18 and the the second thing that surprised me about the marriage is that some of them live with the parents you know in the same house well where i come from and i think generally in africa at least west africa if it happens that they live with parents it's when it is a big family house mm -hmm. but yeah here is literally with uh, the the in-laws you know the, the father and the mother specifically it's not that it is a family house so yeah actually uh, in russia like people smile really less to uh, unknown people uh, maybe with friends they smile but to unknown people no back in india like they smile a lot <laughs> even if you are unknown to them and also this is a woman empowered country the women here are more dominant than the ones in back in india and uh, i actually appreciate it ah uh, yeah <laughs> yeah the, I, I feel safe yeah <laughs> women empowerment culturally i think if you look back in africa different tribes different um, ways of lives depend on the kind of tribe you mm -hmm. are from but with the Russians, I think, as I said, like, they don't have that tribe thing. Their way of life is just one. Like when we talk about the Ashanti people, we are talking about Fufu. When we talk about the Gans, we are talking about Kenke, you know? So it goes on and on. Different tribes bring about. So cultural differences, like, it's vast majority, yeah. And you can tell a person's character a Ghanaian's character like oh the way this guy is behaving he's an Ashanti man mm -hmm. the way this one is behaving and his mannerism his accent mm -hmm. you can tell that oh he's he's a Ghan or he's an Evan but then you just see a Russian you can't classify him look he's a Russian from the south he's a Russian from the north he's just Russian uh, most of the time you might find that someone like doesn't know who their neighbor is or they're not used to their neighbor but they don't socialize with their neighbor. They just don't socialize with just anyone they see. Another thing that is different is the holidays. In my country, we celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December. And here, uh, 
Their Christmas is on the 7th of January. The relationship between the parents and their kids. Parents are easy going here in back home. Parents are bit, there is, they're a bit strict. They're mm. friendly. Our parents are friendly. But then mm. there is kind of a boundary where I'm your mom, you're my daughter. <laughs> but here, <laughs> but here I've noticed how, especially teenagers and their mm. moms, so mm. that's how they interact. I'm like, oh, wow, nice. Like, I'll, this I'll also works, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. And uh, so, since you're coming, do you have any memorable experience? Oh, yeah. Like, I have already three years here in Russia, and I have met a lot, a lot of people. One of the most amazing things that I have experienced here was going to a Russian wedding. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So wow. that was a really interesting experience to wow. to live how their traditions are in the weddings, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I swim in the frozen in the frozen river oh once. My yeah, <laughs> it's really really cool. If you come to Russia, uh -huh. at least in some in winter, you have to try it at least once. Okay. Yeah, and other things is like you met a lot of people, a lot of uh, different cultures. Like you can see, I'm from Latin America. There's people from Africa, Arab people, Indians, Indian. Russians, all in ones, and that's a really great experience here. The biggest thing was learning the language. Learning Russian is like the most important thing you could ever do to yourself if you want to actually have a life in Russia. Uh -huh. So that was the hardest part for me. It was almost a two-year process in the making. I mean, it's still a process in the making. I'm still improving day by day. But the fact that I can now hold conversations, ask questions, make friends, break stereotypes through these, you know, form of communication. Um, I think that's the most, uh, that was the hardest part for me uh, to achieve this. But once I did, my life has been exponentially amazing. <laughs> yeah. My memory experiences is with my friends. So my friends and I are the type of people that like going to party. And we usually go, sometimes we go to parties that are outside of Tambo, so we get to feel the differences. And it's really nice because you get to meet different types of people, you get to meet different Russians, because Russians are different, it doesn't mean that they're all the same. Mm. Russians in Moscow and Tambo are different. Yeah. In Moscow they know more English, yeah. they're more friendly, kinda. Uh, uh. And in Tambo they, they do know English, they're nice. But not so nice as Moscow. <laughs> There's a difference in, in different cities. Uh, it was my first year in a city called Tumin in Siberia. It was the winter. I went with my friends to a club. I wanted to go home because I didn't like the vibes there. And I went outside, I thought like the home is nearby and I know everything, I know the route to home. But I got lost <laughs> and <laughs> because of the weather, my phone died. I didn't know what to do, I was freezing literally, it was like 2 a.m. Some Russian guys stopped me and they asked me like, what's up, where are you from? I couldn't speak Russian. They pulled their phone, their translator and they held me and ordered me a taxi to go home. How kind of them. <laughs> yeah, that's really memorable. I challenged myself one time. To, to try and take a job in the winter yeah at 20 degrees minus 20 that okay i'm just going to time myself and see how far i can go uh -huh. with the cold on my skin uh, that with. was jogging jogging oh, yeah. okay and <laughs> 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 I think I made 10 paces. Yeah. And I stepped out, the wind blew on my face. I'm like, you can't do this. Uh -huh. One, two, I'm like, okay, no, it's enough. <laughs> Let me come back. The first time experiencing snow. So it was kind of nice. Yeah, I can say that. Well, yeah, it's my first country to be apart from Tanzania. So that's uh -huh. already a good experience. And yeah, I'm. I'm enjoying it. And so what advice do you have for people who would like to visit Russia? Uh, don't be afraid. <laughs> don't listen to the media. <laughs> Russia is an amazing country, has a lot of places to visit, uh -huh. a lot of parks, museums. The history of Russia is really nice, really rich. So just come to Russia, visit, experience by yourself the experience and have fun. Come. <laughs> Just, Just come. come. <laughs>
Uh, some things are hard to explain without actually experiencing them. But this is one country that offers a lot. And they don't brag about the fact that they have a lot to offer. But once you come here, you realize, you know, wow, these people actually do have a lot to offer from culture to adventure. It's the biggest country in the world, for goodness sake. So much to explore. Yeah. Um, just come. <laughs> just come. Yeah. Okay. Um, do they need to prepare or know something beforehand? Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, carry your spices. Um, please. Um, yeah, they don't, they don't do those here. <laughs> but um, I think I can say from a foreigner's perspective, just have have the guts to learn the language. Looks difficult, looks intimidating and hard, but um, it's the best thing you could do for yourself. I mean, we did it, anyone can do it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Be willing to explore mm. so you can have a memorable visit and you get to actually enjoy your time here. Learn to have an open mind because you hear you get to meet with people that are from different ethnicities, different backgrounds, different cultures and all that. And you should know that not everything is going your way and not everything should go your way. Just be open, be ready to learn. If you guys like adventures, if you like um, like extreme cold weather, you should come to Russia, of course. <laughs> and maybe you would like Porsche. They should be prepared for the cold, like it's really cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cold. But today the weather is nice. Uh huh. Yeah. You have to visit Petersburg. It's a beautiful city, uh -huh. and uh, the bigger the city, the the nicer the people, and the more open they are. Buy warm clothes. Uh -huh. In summer, you can wear like bikinis and stuff back in like beaches, uh -huh. and it's very nice. Russia is definitely about experience. Come to explore. They have nice uh, artifacts in their museums. They have huge museums mm -hmm. and they are very, very historic because they've preserved everything from centuries back. Stick with the, <laughs> <laughs> the Moscow's, the Petersburg's uh -huh. because that's where you're going to be embraced. And for the girls, I would advise them to bring some hair food, also some hair pins and also for, and they can also bring makeup since uh, here we don't have the same skin color. Okay. Welcome to Russia. <laughs>